Okay, it's really interesting. We have three-fourths times two-fifths. Now, in the past, you've simply done these steps. You've done three times two equals six, and four times five equals twenty. But what we're going to do first is we are going to see actually if we can cross-cancel. That means pulling out a common factor from the opposites. Opposite numerator and denominator, opposite numerator and denominator. Okay, so I have three and five. The only common factor that they have is one, so I'm gonna leave that alone and try and see if I can pull out a common factor other than one and four and two. And I can, it's actually two. So four divided by two is two, and two divided by two is one. Looking at one and two, I can't pull out a common factor other than one, so I'm simply going to rewrite this. I have three halves times one fifth. Okay, so the definition of this um, before I get to the definition, let me actually get to the answer. I have 3 times 1, which is 3, and 2 times 5, which is 10. So the answer will be 3 tenths. Okay? It takes 10 pieces to make a whole, but I don't even have 10 pieces, and they don't have a common factor other than 1. So the definition of 3 fourths times 2 fifths could have been uh, cross-canceled out to be 3 halves times 1 um, fifth. So let me do that. The definition is three halves of a segment of length one-fifth. Now graphing this on a number line, this is what I do first. I draw the number line, and I look at this fraction right here. That, that's what I'm trying to find my length of. I see it takes five pieces to make a whole, but do I have five pieces here? No, I only have one. So I know it's going to be somewhere between zero and one. So let me draw that, okay? Now, I'm going to split, because that's what my denominator means. I'm going to split my whole from 0 to 1 into 5 equal pieces. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right there. Okay? And now I only want to take one of those fifths. So let me start at 0. And that's 1 fifth right there. So literally, this is the length that I'm looking at, 1 fifth. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to split each fifth into two equal pieces. So this is a fifth split into two equal pieces. That's one, that's two. Split that into two equal pieces. One and two. And that. And this fifth. And this fifth. Now, what I want to do is look at my length. How many equal pieces do I have in my length? I have one, two. I'm going to divide that by 2, okay? And I get 1. So every one of these pieces is going to give me 1, but I want 3, okay? So I'm going to start at 0, and let's count. 1, piece equals 1, 2, two yeah, that equals two, equal, 2, 2 pieces, and then the third, which equals 3 pieces. So I'm going to plot it right there, and that should give me 3 tenths. Let's see, what's the numerator? Start at 0. One, two, three, okay? And how many pieces does it take to make a whole? Start at zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three tenths. 